Welcome back. The questions are still coming in about COVID-19 and the state's response, and we are continuing our live conversation with Dr. Benjamin Chan via Skype to answer your questions. Dr. Chan, Sarah asks, is there a plan to make antibody testing available? If so, will it be available to people who haven't been tested for the virus? Yeah, there are a lot of um, businesses and manufacturers that are looking at making antibody tests. Uh, unfortunately, there are not currently any FDA licensed tests. And so the accuracy of many of these tests are still in question and still being studied. Um, so there are plans at some point when we have a reliable test to be able to roll it out. Um, for, and I think tests like this will be helpful on a couple levels. One is to get a better sense that at the population level, how many people may have been exposed. Um, and at some point, hopefully roll this out as a medical test to provide specific information to individuals about their levels of immunity. Unfortunately, these are still very young and very early tests and, and aren't really ready for prime time yet. And Jill asks, has the virus peaked in New Hampshire yet? If not, any idea when it might? So, so oftentimes we know about a peak after the fact, right? So after the numbers have started to decline. What I can say is that um, the numbers in New Hampshire have started to plateau both the total number of um, people being confirmed with COVID-19, the number of um, hospitalizations on a daily basis with COVID-19. These are, have all started to plateau, but we haven't yet seen a decline um, in community transmission. Um, that's part of the reason we're still recommending that people maintain the strict social distancing measures that have been put into place, because uh, if we relax these too quickly or too soon, we can certainly see a rebound or, or even a dramatic increase in cases going forward. We want to we want to continue the social distancing until we see that that decline in community transmission. And Jennifer wants to know if we open the state too soon, will we see another surge in cases? Do we have enough PPE to keep everyone safe if we reopen early? Yeah, and that's exactly um, what I was just alluding to is that uh, if we reopen too soon or too quickly even, uh, we can see a resurgence in the number of cases. Um, because of the early and aggressive actions that we took at a state level to implement social distancing, likely there's a significant number of people in our communities that have not been exposed to the virus and are not immune. Uh, and so if we let this virus continue to spread unchecked, uh, we can certainly see a resurgence, and that's something we're going to make every attempt to try and prevent and open open things in a very slow and controlled manner. And there's discussions ongoing um, at, at the state and federal level around how best to do this, uh, particularly in New Hampshire. All right, Dr. Chan, thank you so much. Well, let's get to this one. Brian asks, is there any correlation in the severity of COVID-19 in people who had a flu shot last fall and those who did not? Yes, so the flu shot protects against the influenza virus. Uh, there is not any known protection um, for but between uh, the influenza virus and COVID-19, right? Two, two very different uh, viruses. And to, to my um, awareness, there's not any correlation between uh, the influenza shot, the influenza vaccine, and severity of uh, COVID-19 illness. Laura is asking, will there be a breakdown by town of the exact number of cases versus a range? Yeah, so people can go on our website right now, um, uh, New Hampshire, uh, excuse me, nh.gov slash COVID-19. And on a daily basis, we release the um, number of new confirmed COVID-19 cases. We break that down not only by county, but there's also a map um, showing the general number of cases at a town level. So that information is currently available on our government website. All right, Dr. Chan, don't go anywhere. We have you for at least one more Q&A session. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.